Chucky wanna play? Oh hell no! I am not playing with you, bitch! Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> it's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. It did the monster mash. Hey guys, this is Jay Fight the Bummer right here. Adam Haskell. Because he's the Haskell. Anyway, today is our horror crossover, ain't it, friend? Today we are reviewing Child's Play from 1988. Yeah, Chucky. The first the Chucky movie that started it all. And boy, do I have a lot to say about this. This is a horror thriller, for those of you guys wondering. Let's get to the good stuff, to the plot, and all that good stuff after. This movie is directed by Tom Holland. Yes, the Tom Holland. The same Tom Holland who went to directed movies such as Fright Night, the remake, Fright Night, the original, and Stephen King's TV miniseries, The Langoliers. Boy, what a career for that guy. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Tell us please, a story of, let's get to the plot and then the casting after, shall we, Adam? May you yes. do the plot, my friend? What is our story about? All right, so basically it starts off, in this like toy store, there's a serial killer named Charles Lee Ray. He basically gets killed, and he basically uses this spell to get his like soul right. into like this doll, this good guy doll. And then it just like cuts to this family with this little boy named Andy, and he really wants this good guy doll. And then his mother tries to get it for him, and then she gets it. And basically, this doll just goes around and kills people. And plus, they also meet the voodoo man who also casted the spell. And because also there's a detective trying to follow the mom, and the kid doesn't believe Andy because he said, No, Chucky did it. And everything happens on a Christmas morning. And he's voiced by Brad Dourif, the same scientist who gets killed by aliens in Alien Resurrection. Thank you, Joss Whedon, for writing that piece of crap. Yay! <laughs> Sorry to you, Joss Whedon fans. He's awesome. I love you, Firefly. I love you, Avengers 2. The casting stars Brad Dourif, as I said, as Chucky is himself. Kevin Hicks. As Karen Barkley, Chris Sarandon. If you know Chris Sarandon, he's also the voice of Jack Skellington from Nightmare for Christmas. Awesome. Oh, he's right. voiced by Danny Elfman. Alex Vincent plays Andy Barkley, the son of Karen. Brad Dourif is Charles E. Ray, also known as Chucky. Dina Manoff as Maggie Peterson. Tommy Swerdlow as Jack Santos. Jack Clovin as psychologist Dr. Ardmore. Neil Gutoli as Eddie Caputo. And Alan Wilder as Mr. Criswell. Oh, what are our thoughts? I'll go first than you. When I first saw this movie, I was scared of the box art, folks. As an eight-year-old kid, I shot myself when I went to the Blockbuster video. My brothers haggled me. Hey, Jacob. <laughs> oh, God. It gave me nightmares. And trust me, seeing Hellraiser just made me shit myself even more. It's meh. To be honest with me, you guys. It's not the worst movie. But I just, it's just, the whole killer doll thing has been done. I know they're trying to give it a whole new dark persona, but come on. Talking Tina was already a presence in Twilight Zone, and he had others like in The Doll or Dolly Dearest, which was already done in 84. Not saying it was a bad choice, but it felt like the plot was just a generic story of a murder mystery. Not that it's anything bad or anything. When I saw it analytically, it just felt flat sometimes. Brad Dourif does a good job as Chucky himself. I mean, come on, the man is Grimmer from frickin' Lord of the Rings. He controls the king until, you know, Aragorn cuts that little gravel goblin's head off. Yay for Lord of the Rings. But anyway, all of them are all good actors, you know. All of them do a very good job, as usual. And the setting is very helpful. And since it's Christmas, it gives a whole twist of whole Christmas horror-themed. Not with Jack Frost. The story was flat, but... I can't just live this review to an end. Adam, what are your thoughts of Child's Play 1 from 1988? When I first saw this movie, I was honestly very scared to watch it. Uh, I don't know why. Well, I think it's because it was Chucky. It looked scary. And then I watched it. I'm like, this ain't too bad. It's, just, it's more intense than anything. It's not like, nothing about it really just makes me go, whoa. Uh, but I'm going to start off by saying the acting's good for just one specific actor that's horrible, and that's Alex Vincent as Andy. Oh, this kid. I know he's a little kid, but he just is the most obnoxious little kid. I agree. Seen in one of these movies. He I just wanted to I just I, I just wanted Chucky to just kill this kid. I wanted him to like rip Did his I? freaking throat out. <laughs> hey, but hey, the kid's a the guy's a doll, so he knows what he's doing. But anyway, I do agree with you, Adam. 
This kid's annoying as hell. It makes Jake Lloyd look like he's Macaulay fucking Culkin. Jesus Christ. We all know what happened to him. If you don't get the joke, watch a good son. Anyway. But uh, this film it, this film definitely has plenty of problems. Uh, starting off, some uh, some of the kills look a little sheep to me at times, but uh, other ones look pretty good. I don't have that movie. <laughs> Same uh, but uh, I, the, Brad Dorf does a great job as Chucky. I like his voice a lot. It's really cool. He's like Charles Lee Ray. You know Jack uh, Nicholson. People compare to Jack Nicholson. I do agree with that whole. Bob, you are the right guy. It's a good movie. Puppeteering for Chucky is great. He looks really yeah. great. Uh, the way he looks pretty badass at times. Uh, the kills are pretty cool. Some of them are very cheap looking. Other ones are pretty good looking. Uh, Shucky is awesome in it. But it's just a good movie. Some people call this movie like a horror classic. No, it has too many flaws to be considered that. I mean, it's about like, how, like, it's about a psycho doll killing people. There's nothing classic about that. Uh, hey, kid. hey, Disney, I have an idea. Try to put Brad Dourif as Woody. <laughs> It has plenty of problems, uh, starting with the scares. I don't think it's really that scary to me. It's not really that scary to me. And uh, I think, I don't know, it's like, it feels like more of an intense movie to me than a scary movie. Yes, man, there's more thrills than chills. This is just a good movie, but I will give this film one thing. It's better than all of its sequels. And this I will agree best. with you that. Even though it is, I give it a mech. It's still a better movie than the sequels because what it is it? Chucky comes back. He gets a little more sexually insane with Andy. Child's Play. This is the best one in the franchise. I was never really bored with this film. I was never just like, I was never like, eh, just. It's only eighty something minutes. It it doesn't need to be long. I think the runtime's kind of perfect for this. It it runs at a good pace. Now there's no moments where it's just like, eh, it's pretty. It runs out pretty good. It, you're in, you're out of the movie. It's quick. I'm going to give Child's Play probably a three and a half out of five. I'll give it a 2.5 out of five stars. It's a decent, it's a decent mech movie. Whatever you do, don't watch Seed of Shucky. We're just warning you. As always, check out this great badass's channel. And always check out my channel, J5518. And, yeah, it's time to play. <laughs> <laughs>